Hey everybody, Gerda Muller here, clinical psychologist, fellow group private practice owner, and of course, your Elevate 2020 host. I can't believe it. Next week, we will be another month closer to Elevate 2020. And I've got two major announcements for you today. Now, if you don't know this as yet, you're gonna know it after now, <laughs> that when you purchase your Elevate 2020 ticket, you start to become eligible for the free bonus monthly elevation trainings, okay? So if you purchase your ticket now, before the end of February, you will still be able to get access to the February bonus training. And of course, then we still have the March one, the April one, the May one, and the June one. And guess what? People have been getting free bonus trainings since October. So the longer you wait, the more you're gonna miss out on all this free training, right? And the training to date has already paid for your ticket probably two times over. Probably two times over. If you had to purchase those trainings as standalone, pro as standalone programs, it would have already cost you more than your ticket. So it's a complete no brainer. <laughs> I'm yet to find a conference that actually does this. I think I'm out of my mind. No, I'm not. I've just elevated my thinking and this is the type of experience that we want to give you at Elevate 2020. So I'm here to tell you about the February bonus training. Okay, now this is a training on a topic that I thought people wouldn't want to hear about. Okay, because I thought surely everybody knows this already, right? And then I've just come to realize more and more that actually no, or maybe people heard it, but they weren't ready to hear it when they did hear it. So the training that I am going to give you, and I've got it all written down here because there's a lot of stuff in it. The free bonus training for February. So everybody that has purchased tickets in the month of February or before will get this in your inbox by the end of this month. And this is my, um, let me just get it here, social media in private practice training. Now, don't switch off if you think I've got a social media page, a Facebook page, I'm done. Mm -mm. You are probably not doing it the right way. So the things covered in here is, do I really have to do social media? What is the bare minimum that I need to do for private practice? Because I know we're all busy, right? Why Facebook? Uh, what's the biggest Facebook mistakes people make? What's the best Facebook hacks to use? Tips for maximizing the benefits of Facebook advertising? Using Facebook stats to help you guide your marketing? The most, that's my alarm telling me to go and get my kids from school, but I'm not at home. <laughs> so I hope my husband is getting them. The most important ethical considerations to keep in mind? what content to include, page, Facebook page versus profile, and then the very important question, what's still stopping you? After I've given you all of that, what is still stopping you from making the use of social media in your, in your practice a success? So that's gonna be your training. That is like a, a, a workshop type, a pre-recorded um, webinar workshop type of presentation that I've done. And I'm gonna be emailing that out to all our ticket holders. So that is the February bonus training. Now, the March one is really different because I tried to mix things up, right? January was our cash flow forecasting made easy. That was like a humongous one, just in terms of getting our head into thinking about money, think about numbers, budgeting, balance sheets, profit and loss, and all that stuff comes mixed into, into cash flow forecasting, right? So that was a big one. Uh, now we're doing social media, and the one for March is the following. Drum roll, please. So the March free bonus elevation training will be using online programs to service your waitlist. Now, I recently ran a poll in my general private practice success for allied health professionals Facebook page, and I asked the practice owners in there, 
Who here has a waitlist? And more than a hundred people said yes, they have a waitlist. More than a hundred. Okay, and I'm sure that there's actually lots more that just didn't see that post in the group, uh, or maybe the posts were up at the top when they went in Facebook. And the fact of the matter is, I, I have and I speak to so many mentoring clients of mine that are really worried about their wait list. I, um, I've had a mentoring client that I've had 300 people on their wait list and it's growing. And this is a practice that's more regionally located so there just ain't other providers out there, right? And I know that the wait list keeps my practice owners, when I say my, it's like they're my community, keeps my practice owners and my clients, my mentoring clients up at night. You know, knowing that there's clients sitting on the wait list, not getting the help that they need, the help that they deserve, the help that's gonna help them live the life they deserve, right? And I think it's, it's just not good enough for them to sit on the wait list, you know? Mentally, I know that we can't service everyone. Um, I know in my head that there's a job and a role for public mental health, for the NGOs and the charities, and then there's the job of private practice, right? And we cannot do the job that public mental health is meant to do. We cannot do the job that the NGOs and the charities uh, that has government funding and has got public funding, we can't do their job either, right? Each of them need to do their job, need to do it well, and need to start elevating what the hell they're doing, right? But we have a similar responsibility. We need to innovate. We, when I say we, I'm talking about private practice industry, private practitioners. We need to innovate. We need to up level. We need to elevate what it is that we offer offer our clients in the private practice industry. And for me right now, I'm feeling extremely passionate about that being looking after our waitlist. Okay. So I'm going to take you through how to put together an online program to give to your waitlist. Personally, I would give it to them. You can sell it to them if you want, right? And and you might be very surprised that Gerda Mala, that's always talking about, you know, running your business profitably and as a business, your practice as a real business or saying giving it away for free. But that's what I want to do, right? I make a lot of money in my practice. I run it profitably, profitably, but that allows me to do stuff like this, of course that allows us to do a program for people on a wait list and give them value and give it to them for free. You don't have to do that. However, I'm gonna take you every step of the way with me and my principal psychologist as we put together a, a online program for the waitlist at our practice. And you can take from that whatever you wanna use in your practice. You can do it with us. We're gonna problem solve stuff, keep you accountable. It is gonna be a really amazing program. Hey, Abby, how are you? I haven't written down the nuts and bolts of it, but that is the, the, the overview of it. So if for you to get access to this uh, training, which will be running during the month of March, you do need to get your Elevator 2020 ticket. Also remember that the early bird will end at the end of March. The price will go up. Uh, so please do not miss it. The, the price for the early will go up for the normal ticket as well as the payment plan. There is a payment plan uh, available. It's really very cash friendly. It's very easy now to access your ticket. So please do not delay. I can't wait to send you the social media uh, training and I sure as hell can't wait to do the online program with you where we're gonna put together a program to support the waitlisted clients at our practices so that we can sleep at night. They can start to get value from us as a business. They can start to hear stuff from us. It's really gonna help them in you know, getting the help that they need. It is as simple as that. So I'm gonna love and leave you. Have an amazing day. Can't wait to speak to you again and go out there and let's elevate.